Hi everyone and welcome. Today we will talk about unidirectional one to one relations. I hope you have watched my previous video on GPA. Anyway, I am leaving the links to the GitHub repository. In this video, you will be exposed to all of the CRUD operations. Let us start by modeling our entities. Here we are having two entities, the organization and address. One organization, one address. So it is a one-to-one -one relation. That's the re reason why I have chosen these two entities. You can see that relation to address is defined in the organization entity. While we do not refer to the organization in the address entity. So that is the reason why we call them unidirectional. Now let us see our tables. We have the organization table. ID field, the primary key, followed by org ID, the name of the organization, and a foreign key, which refers to the address entity, which is the address ID. Here we have state, country, city, building, zip code, and street. And by default, Hibernate is not creating any mapping tables, and the address ID will be the foreign key in the organization table. So to summarize the organization entity and the address entity, here in the organization entity we will be defining the private address of type address and here the, there won't be any definition. And we can navigate from the organization entity to get, get the address of the organization. Now let us define the organization entity. He, here we have the at entity annotation followed by at table where the name I have specified as t underscore organization public class organization at id at generated value strategy equal to generation type dot identity and we have the long id which is the primary key and now the two fields name and org id and the main one that is the address of type address here we are giving the annotation at one to one where the target entity is address dot class and cascade type we are giving it as cascade type dot all here we are saving the address we are using cascade type dot all because else we have to save the address separately before saving the organization entity that's the reason why we are using cascade type dot all you can use persist also cascade type dot persist let us see the organization entity let us open IntelliJ. here we are having entity in the table t underscore organization and here we are done one to one target entity equal to address dot class cascade equal to cascade type all you can use persist also here and now opening the address entity the table name name equal to t underscore address at id building uh, we are specifying the building um, defining the fields building street city state country and zip code here we have seen the address entity in IntelliJ here what what we have to note is we are not having any definition of organization in the address entity hence we are calling it as a unidirectional relation now let us see how the tables are created. The organization table is created with address ID as a foreign key and the address table has nothing to refer to the organization table. See you are having the address ID in the organization table here and here there is no reference to the organization table. Now let us create the address repository. Here we are telling public interface address repository which extends the JPA repository address and long. And same with the organization repository, which extends JPA repository and organization comma long. Now let us talk of the service class, the organization service, in that we are defining a method called create organization, which takes in an argument of type organization. And what we are doing here is we are creating a new organization. We are setting the name org.set name and organization.get name. The same thing with the org ID and the address. Here we are not saving the address separately, but we are using cascade type dot all. So we don't have to save it separately. Now what I'm doing is I'm saving the, the new organization which is created and I'm getting 
it is returning a saved org which which i'll be checking if it is present if it is present i am returning a message organization created successfully else i am returning fail to create the organization specified now let us open intellij and see the service what we are defined here it's organization service we are having the annotation at service we are using the constructor based dependency injection and here i am marked it mark it as a transactional and the create organization method is defined here as we have explained here we are seeing the update organization we will come to it in the coming slides now it's creating a new organization setting the name org id and address and then saving it is and then saving it in the database and if it is present it is returning organization created successfully else fail to create the organization specified now coming to the controller it's a post mapping you are sending in a request body of type organization it is calling the create organization method which we have seen before now let us see the controller it's the create organization method which we are talking before the delete organization you are very much familiar with it it's a delete mapping we are sending in the id it checks in the database if it is present if it is present it is deleted and again i am cross checking if it is deleted or not if it is not deleted i am sending in a message fail to delete else i am sending successfully deleted and if it is not present i am sending specified organization is not present you we'll see the controller here is a delete mapping which we were talking about the same thing and now the read organization method it's a get mapping where we are sending in the id and it searches the database and if it is present it is returning the organization else it is returning null and i uh, define one more method which returns all the organization presence in, present in the database so it's a get mapping again get organization we are using the find all method whereas here we are using the find by id method these are the two methods we are talking about here you we are using find by id and here we are using the find all method now this is the new one here we are of the crud operation we are not talked about the update operation so this is the update operation what what we are going to talk about it's a put mapping i am sending in an id and a request body which is of type organization it's calling the update organization method in the organization service let us see the controller and the service class which we have defined so it is calling the update organization let us go to that here i have marked it a transactional i am checking in the repository if it is present if it is present i am doing this thing else i am returning the specified organization is not found if it is present i'll set the organization using find by id and and i'll be setting the name org id and this is the difference here when before setting the address i am deleting the existing address of the organization and then i am setting it and finally i'll be saving i'll be using the save method and the saved organization and again i am using the find by id is present which returns an optional i am checking with is present if if it is updated successfully i am returning a message successfully updated organization else i am returning fail to update so that's regarding the update organization you can see this method now let us run the application you are seeing the organization entity the address entity is there we have seen the organization controller we have the delete mapping get to get mappings which finds by id which gets all the organization we have the create organization and finally the new one 
the update organization which is a foot mapping so we have everything in place now uh, we will check on the organization service tool we have two method two methods one is create organization and the other one is update organization the delete we are performing at the controller level itself let me run the application you can see the queries here the queries are coming here just because I have set show SQL equal to true that's the reason why you are seeing the queries here now let us open postman and we will send in the request and see what is happening in the post method I am defining an organization of name Noble Academy org ID I give as NAL address the building number I have given the street as Zandheri city as Mumbai state as Maharashtra country India and the zip code 400703 we go to the entities we find the entire thing here and then address we find the address here before we send in the request let us check the database and then we will send in the request refresh it we will see the tn underscore address the table has been created as you have seen before it is working fine and t underscore organization let us check for the address id whether it is there yeah we are finding and this address underscore id here so everything is fine now we will send in the request if it is working the data should be populated created successfully get back to the database click on the organization address id is populated here id is 1 noble academy nal fine so again the address id is here the id is 1 it is referred there we have everything populated as we desired now let us come back to postman we will find the get, get method getting it correctly the get all since there is only one it will be showing showing the same thing and now finally I am changing I am changing the JSON object where I am changing the name to Noble Academy Private Limited and Street to Andheri West if everything is fine this should be updated in the database so let me click on send we we'll check the database the underscore address it should show on very here on very west perfectly fine and in the organization here the id has changed to two and in the organization let us check on the id again the address underscore id is two so everything is working fine now the main takeaways are we have spoken about one to one relation which is unidirectional we have spoken about the entire CRUD operations which is create, read, update and delete we have, we have seen the demo also I am leaving the entire source code in my github repository which the link I have, I have given here and in the next video we will be discussing about bidirectional one to one relation thank you thanks for watching